Hi, I didn't see you there. You've come a long way, young grasshoppers. My name is James Edgar Lim, and we are here to give you some final words on your journey to enlightenment. Hi, my name is Movin. Hi guys, I'm Stephanie. Hi! My name is Gofong. Hi guys, my name is Patrick. Hi, my name is Bianca, or you can call me Bian. Um, to me, USB is sort of like family. Like a place to chill after lessons and also a place to meet new friends. It's like a second home to me. When you go home, usually at the end of the day after school, you race CN and then you go home to your family and then you go like go and recharge and stuff. Eventually people in USB become like family to you. USB is a place for everyone. Even for weird people. Like me. USP is like an ecosystem to me. I feel that USP is really a place where you can embark on what you really want to do. And I really met a lot of different people and they're all like talented in a lot of different ways and areas. When we wanted to try out skateboarding, you know, we just bought one board and then we just learned by ourselves just by watching YouTube videos. And then we tried to ask our friends to come along to try it out. And soon, you know, more and more people bought skateboards. We even went on a night skating trip, which I thought was quite cool. There are times when we just like stay up until like 5 a.m. just talking, and the conversations we have are just like, wow, probably not safe for work all the time. But you know, I mean, and then you you go to sleep really late. But I mean, it's worth it. Completely, completely worth it. I think my most memorable thing would be having house suppers. It's like a moment to catch up with each other because everybody's from different faculty. There was this time when uh, a friend and I came up with a theme for a song for Game of Thrones. It goes like this. Game of Game of Thrones, Game Game of Thrones. We're very creative. Late night is when you get an opportunity to talk to everybody at a deeper level, interact with USB students a lot better, get to know their personality a lot more, and just spending time talking with them. Last year, during Amazing Race, we were like bombed by other houses, like really very heavily. A bit aside, right, we really gave our all and I really loved how we really encouraged each other. We just pushed each other on and, you know, crossing that finishing line and coming in first, right, despite all that, you know, setbacks and all that, it was very, very satisfying and I was just very glad to do it with that bunch of people. My WCD experience, I didn't really do very well for my first paper. I wasn't really following what was happening in class. But there was once after the first paper, Prof Ryan actually came up to me, kind of talked to me, about what kind of difficulties I was facing, what I thought was happening, why I wasn't really understanding what was going on in class. Outside of USB, usually during lessons itself, you won't have much interaction with the professor. So I thought in USB it would be the same thing, where we have a distinct line between the professors and the students, but it's not the case in USB. You know, some sometimes like you hear rumors about profs being scary. I think the experience showed me that USB professors really care for our learning and our understanding of the lessons. We are actually able to interact with the professors and like have busy small talks with them and get to know them better like on a friend level rather than a professor and student relationship. It's a nice surprise to realize how much independent learning you get to do in university. It really feels like you get to have control over the kind of direction your education takes. The module that I took Apparently, the things that we were learning is actually taught in the honors module for physics. So, you know, there's really so much variety that uh, USP caters for. You know, if you're looking for something challenging or if you're just looking for something introductory as well, this is uh, a wide variety. And I guess there was something that I didn't expect when I came in. I was actually very hesitant about writing initially. But after going through one semester of writing and critical thinking class, I realized that I can actually write pretty okay and that WCT class actually prepares every individual to do fairly well in writing in a sense and it really prepares you well for your stint here in USP so don't my freshies out there not to worry if any of your fears the writing elements. After being in USP I became more of a right third uni I was actually quite shy but being in USP and being in RC we were actually forced to open up to people and get to know more about others. When I first applied to USP I thought of USP maybe purely more of academic program. So I thought everyone was going to be like really competitive and it was going to be a very cool atmosphere, kind of scary. But I guess after a year now and when we've all been living together, there's a lot more to the program than just the academic side of it. But then once I came in, I realised that everyone's actually really warm and everyone's kind of unsure about exactly what they kind of want to do in life. And it's kind of fun when you all find each other and you go through this like 
this phase together. Before uni started, um, I was in polytechnic and I used to do I used to do well and I used to do much better than in uni la. Um, but what I really realized, especially after the first semester, is that grades aren't really everything and coming here already, right, you are already of a certain standard. What's one word to describe this year's freshy batch? Um, younger. You guys are very spontaneous. Like, even though I was a fake freshy, I could feel your energy and like drink cheering, you all were very spontaneous about it. A really proactive batch of freshmen. It is really very heartwarming to see everybody taking their own initiative and being a part of all the programs that we have planned. And I hope that you all carry on this uh, spontaneity and uh, energy with you as uni as you start uni. Uni life will be hectic and it will be hard but with your energy, I'm sure you all can encourage each other. Um, the word that encapsulates this year's batch for me anyway is love. Personally, I was a fake freshman. So what happened was I went in with the intention like I want to fool everyone, I want to last till the end and then everyone gets a shock afterwards. Uh, I think you guys are really friendly because you know Last semester when I came in, uh, I thought you know there's no need to interact with the seniors because you know, they, they wouldn't really uh, be there much with you. So I just interacted with those in my bench. You guys just gave me a lot of, of love, basically a lot of concern, a lot of care, and I guess I bonded with you guys on a level I didn't expect it. I didn't expect to be. So this year when I went down for you know like rec sessions, I expect I expected myself to be you know kind of left out in all the conversations, but that was actually very true. So like you all came you know and entertained me as well. So. Thanks for being there. Eventually when you know the cat was out of the bag, it was really sad because like on one hand I felt like I was betraying you guys and also I kind of felt like I didn't really want to leave you guys behind. And you know what? I won't because um I mean USP is like that we'll be taking the same classes and stuff, so I'll see you guys. Around. I think that you guys are genuine people. Um, and I really had the privilege, you know, talking to you guys, conversing with some of you one on one. You know, sometimes OGLs we are, you know, we have duties to do and all that. We can't really get to know you as people. I'm just very thankful for the many opportunities I had getting to know each one of you better. And one thing I'd like to say to you guys would be to study hard and also to play hard. Like do not just focus on your studies. I know grades is very important, but also you know, the people around you matters a lot. Like there'll be your support for this whole semester and the years to come. One thing I want to say to you guys is to try out as many things as you can, explore as many things as you can. Um, there are many activities, uh, a wide range of things that you can do. You guys, brace yourselves. Don't lose sight of what you really want to achieve in university. There's lots of stuff going on. Especially in your like freshman year, um, there are a lot of opportunities, a lot of things you want to, you feel like you want to try out, and you should, you know, if you want to. But having said that, if there is something that you feel is worth it, just go and get it. Like this is the best time in your life, so just go grab stuff, right? So um, just do it. But you know, sometimes when you feel um, maybe overwhelmed or you feel like um, discouraged because certain things don't meet your expectations, then um, my advice to you would be just to really know why you are running this race, to know why you are in university. We all know how we got here and where we will go next time. I mean, most of you, but um, just know why you are here and, and that reason that you may have right will be unique for yourself and will give you that strength to keep going on. I think one thing that we tend to forget when we are here is uh, being humble because when we interact with others outside of USP as well as inside of USP, I guess being humble is something that we tend to forget when we try to embark on so many different things that we are working on. Believe in yourself and, and do it! Just do it. A wise man once said. We love you guys very much. USP. So do I have to start? One thing I have to say is. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot last on this one thing. You cannot. This is me. It's the real me. Why do you not like me? I think this is an ISM. This is so interesting. It's a lit ISM. That's all? That's all. Did you film that? Yep. Why? <laughs> <laughs>